brotherhood. What is brotherhood? Is it a relational thing? Does it mean you're kin to each other, or does it go much deeper than that? Mm -hmm. Those are some issues we're going to be talking about today on Juxta Bros. Let's dive in. Bruh. What's up, everyone? I'm Casey. I'm Brent. And I'm Bob. And we are Juxta Bros. We are going to be talking about something very near and dear to our hearts this week on uh, Juxta Bros. We're going to be talking about brotherhood. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this uh, is this is. Can you believe this is episode three already? Yeah, episode episode three. three already. Already. Um, I don't know. It, it really seems like we're figuring it out each yeah. episode. Yeah. Um, we're relaxing a little bit, becoming mm-hmm. more of. Um, yeah. More of ourselves. More. Yeah. Because anytime you know you see a reality show or something like that, and you're like, "How much reality is it?" Whenever right. someone points a camera at you, right. you automatically go into a mode but now we're getting more relaxed yeah more comfortable yeah um yeah i love yeah. that before we dive into this week's episode um thank you for everyone that's listening please share please comment yes. please like or dislike because that's your your god-given american right yes but what we want you to do and what you want we want you to be aware of comment comment because we uh there was a reel that got put out and apparently it got into the wrong hands um yeah and it was, they started to share it, and they started to comment. And before I knew it, it went incendiary. It was on fire. It did, yeah. And um, people were really, like, painting a narrative. So we're, we're not going to paint the narrative or allow other people to paint the narrative that we're something we're not. We're just three men that are Christian men that are walking through this life, trying to figure it out, trying to raise our kids and raise yep. our, our families the best that we know how. Yeah. Because, yeah. guys, what we're doing is trying to have fun, yep. trying to be yep. informative, we're even informing ourselves half yeah. the time. We <laughs> yeah. don't. We, yeah, we're we're learning new things every time. So. so, and now a quick word from our sponsors. Brotherhood. You know what, guys? When you got a strong brotherhood, you know what you need. What? A man cave. You need you a man need, cave. We, you gotta have. A you gotta man. have yeah. man cave. You do, and uh, yeah, or, or maybe maybe you have a, a ton of brothers and sisters running around, and you need your own space. Maybe yeah. you want rooms for them. Maybe you want your own place so your brothers can have your previous. You place. know what? That's mm-hmm. yeah. Man, man, either way. You know who to call? James Lacombe, Caldwell Banker. Great guy. Look him up. Click the link in the description. Now back to the show. But as that goes, man, we're we're talking about brotherhood. And it's funny because Bob, Saturday, he called me up and I preached at our church, Watts Bar Community Church, a few Sundays ago. And he is our media guy. He's our praise and worship guy. He's everything. So he's been creating these reels for Juxta Bros, Watts Bar. And uh, there was a reel of me that got put on there, and I, th- I'm wearing the same hat. I'm preaching from stage. Yes, I'll do that. And I'm wearing like a hoodie and something. And some guy commented and said, you know, it's a shame that they don't have enough reverence to come before the house of the Lord and You're speak, kidding. speak to the that. congregation. Dude, I was and like, and, and Bobby was furious. Okay, livid. And, and dude, I, and dude, let me tell you something. You 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 killed that message. If y'all can go back and watch yeah, that, man, for he sure. Thank you. For sure. smoked it, man. I, I think I think for me, and that's where, um, for me, I even told you, man, like, because I mean, I get it all the time. I mean, you know, I, I've I've had people publicly, you know get up and, and shame me for having tattoos and wearing a hat and 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 whatnot and uh you know just all that stuff and just being you know doing what we do but um and I don't care. I don't care at yeah. all. You know what I'm saying? I mean that it doesn't bother me. It's one of those like ah, uh, you know, I've got I've gotten it for so long. But for some reason, man, it dude, about you it, it, got, it, got it you. made me so mad. Yeah. Dude. I was livid. Yeah. And yeah. I'm sitting there and I don't even like I don't even get involved in that stuff. And I, I read it and I'm I'm just sitting there, I'm just like shaking. I'm like, I'm gonna you know, I'm like <laughs> when, <laughs> when he calls me and I'm there with Tiffany. Yeah. Yeah. And he's and I'm like, Bob, dude, it doesn't bother me at all. This guy doesn't have a voice in our world, yeah. and I'm like, and Tiffany's over there writing it to this. Dude. Look, she's replied. <laughs> she, huh? she's already. I said, I said, you're gonna have to talk me off this ledge. Like, and, and he was like, I, and then by the end, I was like, okay, all right, you know what, you're right. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't even respond. I should just, all right, you know. And and we were good. And I mean, of course, you know, I'm 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 now I'm stalking him. I'm on his page. Yeah. I'm looking. I'm like this guy. This the guy. Does, you know, by the way. And then I see like a little notification. Ding. It pops up. Tiffany's already responded. I immediately <laughs> called her. I said, "How are you going to talk me off a ledge?" And then you get right up on that ledge, like right after you talk to me. That was just. Well, but, I, I will tell you guys this, and not to get off topic, but you know, I come from traditional church, right? right? 
I mean, I, I do. You know, no no hats. Yeah. Uh, you don't see no tattoos. You know, you know what I'm saying? If they do, they wear long sleeves, whatnot, and all that. But, And um, I'm not going to lie, I battled that a little bit, right? When, yeah. when we first started coming to Watts Bar, you know. But something that that just, uh, I guess God convicted me one day. And he's like, you know what, Brent? Like, at least they're here. Yeah. Who cares if they have a hat on, you know? Right. And so my whole perspective has changed over, you know what yeah. I'm saying, the course of just in a lot of that stuff, yeah. man, was traditions. Yeah, it is. Just traditions. Yeah. You know, th- 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 there's... Well, you know, even yeah. in our church previously, Dad, if you wore a hat in the church, yeah. you were getting called out. Yeah, that's yeah. true. You know, yeah. I, I mean, he wasn't big on tattoos or anything like that. He didn't have them, and it wasn't like, hey, go out and get one. But if you wore a hat in church, yeah. and he wore a suit to church yeah. every yeah. week. And and that's the thing That's the thing about our church is you can, you can wear a three-piece suit. You cannot. It's okay. Who it's totally you, fine. We just and, want you and there. That's, and I, I mean, one of the uh, and I'm like I'm, as I'm sitting there looking at it, like one of the the scriptures that came to my mind was when uh, when God spoke to Moses in the burning bush and he said, Moses, you're standing on holy ground. Put on your three piece suit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. that, that's what it, was that what it was? No, no. no. Okay, yeah. Take it off was. your shoes. Take off your shoes. So. Yeah. And we got we got us a, t- a guy that takes his shoes off. Deep we do. Anchor. Yeah. Deep Pinker yeah. will take them shoes yeah. off. But that being said. There was something that came up in Bob, and it's happened to me before. Somebody had made a comment on one of Bob's posts before, and me and Tiffany laid into the guy, yeah. and it, without even thinking, it was just yeah. I don't care so much about me, but if yeah. you talk about people, I yeah. can family. If you'd have did it for my actual brothers, Brent um, had, you know, and I'm going to say it, he had the balls to call me out, yeah, and during this friend because I did something, I acted in a way that I shouldn't have, and he's like, hey man. Um, didn't you just talk about something like that, that you're not like, liking that? Yeah. And he called me out. So that's what we're talking about yeah. today is that, man, you defending me, me right. defending you, Brent holding me accountable, yeah. me holding us all holding yeah. each other accountable. Yeah. What is it to be a brother? And when we say brotherhood, let's just go ahead and say we're not talking about the Aryan brotherhood. No, right? not I, that le- I left prison a long time ago. What that brotherhood is right there could be a union. It's somebody, some people that are joined together for a common, common purpose or right. interest. Right. Uh, maybe a l- religious pur- yeah. purpose, maybe a job, uh, maybe whatever, whatever kind of ideology. Yeah. That is not the brotherhood we're talking right. about. Right. Um, we're talking about a brother and, and we, we reference this verse a lot, and we said this is not a Christian podcast. It's three Christians talking about life. That's right. But that being said, Proverbs seventeen seventeen says this, and, and I think this is the platform. This is the foundation for this episode. Mm-hmm. A friend loveth at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. Yeah. And and I think that is the truest statement, man. If you knew my background, which you might have heard a little bit in first episode like i didn't have friends i had acquaintances and they didn't trust me Mm -hmm. so the people i surround myself with now i will fight beside you know uh pastor kelly my brother gave a message a few weeks ago and he's like hey you know the kind of people i want in my life is the ones that will fight for me in public Mm -hmm. and then hold me accountable in private yeah Yeah. like i don't care why but once we get along why do we even do that man that was stupid yeah that's what a brother is. Yeah. Well, you know, speaking of that, Casey, the whole fight for me in public, hold me accountable. I heard a guy, he, he said something, and man, just really clicked with me. And he said, if I love me, then I won't correct you. Right. But if I love you, I'll correct you. Yeah. And what he meant by that was, I'm worried about how, like, if, if I... My feelings. If you're, not, if you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing, right? And I don't want to call you out because I'm scared... Casey might get mad at me for right. calling him out. Then I love me. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. But if you're I worried call, about my feelings, well, right? Exactly. About, but in the return, though, I'm more worried about your feeling towards me. Yeah. That if I upset you, right. oh my goodness, I just lost my friend Casey. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Versus Bob, you you're doing something that ain't right. I pull you to the side. I don't care if it pisses you off or not. Excuse right. my language. But if it makes you mad. And you get hard feelings over it. I'm still looking out for you. I yeah. love you. Type yeah. You know what I'm and, saying? So it, this it goes both ways, though. Because here with that, like whether you're giving or receiving, if you came to me and, and said that, 
I would receive it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you weren't my brother and you come over and try oh, to correct exactly. me, nah, bro. <laughs> nah, I mean, like, right. I'm petty, man. <laughs> like, I, I can be petty. <laughs> yeah. You okay? You want to? No, no. You know, but but it is. If if we have that relationship, and, and I have it with both of you guys. I, yeah. Like there are times. Uh, I mean, accountability is huge. It's I mean, it's it. it's the biggest thing I think with brotherhood. You have to hold each other accountable. Yes. You have to through accountability. There's growth. Yeah. And there's levels of growth. I feel like just in my relationship with Brent in the last 14 months, there's not only been growth in him, mm -hmm. there's been growth in me yeah. because brothers challenge each other. Right. Yeah. And yeah. they hold each other accountable. And through that challenge, through that adversity, there's levels of growth. Yeah. I feel like I am, I've been sober seven years, May 21st. Heck yeah. I look back at some of the times I spoke in 2018, 19, and I'm like, I don't even agree with anything I said. Right. Like, I don't even know who that dude was. Yeah. But there was a level of growth. There was a level of sincerity there yeah. without maturity. Yeah. 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 But I had brothers in my life that challenged me where I grew through the adversity. Mm -hmm. I grew yeah. through things that are natural birth pangs of becoming an adult. Right. Because I didn't become a man until I was 37 years old. I was a kid walking around for almost 20 years. Yeah. But it was brothers like that when I became sober at 37 that challenged me mm -hmm. and we can say brothers like blood i have two old, i had three brothers i love them all i'm closer to the older two because we do the same things i, I don't think that would be um offensive for me to say i don't have siblings yeah i have brothers those are right, different yeah. yeah yeah um you can have a sibling that i'm that you're not close with at all yeah absolutely but i surround myself with brothers mm -hmm that challenge me and I grow yeah. and not only that I hope I challenge them yeah that's the goal yeah you know? I, I think I mean that that's the that's the difference between a brother and a friend yeah I mean like can we go out and hang out yeah absolutely and we do and that's that's awesome but like with a friend I mean sure we can go bowling or something like that but we're not having those deep conversations we're yeah. not we're not getting into um, you know the things that really that mold us and shape yeah. us into human beings and I I don't I don't know a time where we get together where we we're not talking about something deep or you know and that's the reason why we even started this whole thing in yeah. the first place oh yeah it's because like man if you were just a fly on the wall listen to some of our conversation not yeah. not that we're like these amazing you know minds or anything but it's just it's interesting to hear well it's and, real yeah it's real it's real and it's raw yeah you know real authentic raw and that's not for everybody but what i'm saying is everybody needs to find that group of people yes. that they can identify with that can identify with them that they can hold each other yeah accountable. i will say this i have a lot more friends than i do brothers oh yeah that's 100 without yeah. question and, and and i think that friends are just a time signature away from maybe becoming a brother oh, yeah. or yeah. becoming an yeah. acquaintance yeah. yeah yeah um you know because i've got some people in my life um our producer in there courtney right now her and her husband kramer all right, known Bob forever. Yeah. Um, they, I would say they're brothers and sisters with Bob. Uh, 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 yeah, 100%. Absolutely. Um, I don't know them in that way until here recently. And they have they had a daughter named Charlie. Uh, me and my wife absolutely love her. She's don't love me like that yet. <laughs> but I'm hoping, you know, we love her. But the thing is, is they are friends right now. Yeah. That is fast approaching becoming something that is more than just a friend. It's yeah. like brother and sister. Yeah. Yeah. And and I think that's what, you know, we got tons of friends. Yeah. Well, we're in ministry. You're We're in leadership. And you got to be friends yeah. with everybody, but you can't be friends with everybody. Yeah. 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 And I, I think sense? you have to, I think you have to, to really be wise about who you really let in your inner circle to. I can say, uh, you know, expanding on that, you know, Kramer has, we lived together for many, many years. Um, we've been through a bunch of crap. We've you been bet. through stuff. Yeah. Um, I mean, he, we've, we've seen each other naked multiple times. Uh -oh. I think that's part of it too. So like, you live that, together. The more, the more, the more <laughs> you see the other person naked, not even in that way. Well, hold on, hold on. Let's clarify something. Y'all live together and see each other naked, but it wasn't right, right, in that right, way. Right, right. No, it wasn't like that. <laughs> right. It wasn't like that. No, no. But he, uh, you know, we, we were roommates. Um, when I got married, uh, he was, he was renting from us. So, uh, I mean, he's been a part of the family for yeah. years and years and years. Um, and, and he's, to clarify, he's a physical therapist uh, now, and uh, and I, you know, I've, 
sometimes I have medical issues and I'm like, Hey, look at this. And he's yeah. like, oh, you know, like, I don't want to do that. But you know, he, he's the one that went to the, yeah. the emergency room with me. And, and while I was, you know, getting things taken care of and he's, yeah, yeah. And he's, and then, whatever. And, and you know what he's doing? He's horse laughing the whole time right. and getting yelled at by the doctor. And of course I'm milking it, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm just, yeah. like, but that's what it is. I mean, yeah. that's, that's, it's we're that we're close like that. Exactly. You know? Well, Bob had, bidets installed I did. on every toilet <laughs> and the did. first person this is a true sign of a brother the first yeah. person he called now i was in this front you know this you group of brothers it. but the first person he calls is kramer to yes. try this bidet he's super proud of this yeah uh, and uh, so it was uh, tell that story real quick yeah so i mean yeah so I, i'm super excited I'm really excited well, so uh, now now before you get a bidet thing like i've had like it's crazy we bring up the bidet because yeah. I've had like three different people within the past month tell me to get a bidet. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you something, and I don't know if you deal with this or not, but if you've got if you got Uncle Henry uh, visiting you ever so often, you know who Uncle Henry is? No, I don't. The the big capital H, the hemorrhoids. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I eat Mexican food sometimes. <laughs> if you got the hemorrhoids, yeah. you know you eat Mexican food as, as much as I do. <laughs> yeah. uh, then I will go ahead and tell you, it's the best thing for really? you. Really? Right. Absolutely, absolutely <laughs> amazing. Uh, uh, that I, I got it because of that. It was in in my uh, James Lacombe called our banker. <laughs> uh, he's he's my father in law, and he told me he was like, "You need to get you a bidet." And I was like, "This." I, I, he's like, "The Europeans got it right," and yeah. he is for so, once. so for one. He is so right. It's amazing. So. Um, yeah. So, and also, it was kind of around the same time that uh, COVID happened. So everybody's run out of toilet paper. Not this guy. Oh, I didn't even need toilet paper. Man. You know what I'm saying? We're just using our socks. Yep. You know? <laughs> <laughs> didn't believe it. So, um, so yeah. So I get it. I'm super excited. Um, it immediately comes with a sense of entitlement. You're better than everybody. Yeah. Okay. You walk immediately with a, with a chip yeah. on your shoulder. Yeah. Huh? It's it's almost like <laughs> other people talk about your bidet. You don't exactly. have to. Exactly. That's how you know you've exactly. made it. That's you, you know don't you have made to it. mention. Have yeah. you been to Bob's? Yeah. It's kind of like have He's you ever? Been, have Bob's you, got a bidet. <laughs> have you ever? Have you ever met like a vegan or a lineman? Like either one of them. Like, like a, like a and, lineman, and, like a like a line, like no, like like or someone, like a, a, li- a, like a, 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 a yeah. lineman that's a electrician. You know, the electrician. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know that they're vegan or or they're a lineman within the first three minutes of talking to them because <laughs> they find some way to bring it up in the conversation. Yeah, that's true. Me, you know, I got a bidet within <laughs> <laughs> the first three minutes of meeting me because that's what it is. Yeah. So I called Kramer. I said, "Dude, you got to come over. You got to check it out." Right. And I, and we established this in, in Blanket Four Chronicles episode one. Uh, Kramer, <laughs> so Kramer, uh, Kramer bear bowls it, so he he doesn't he he poops with the the lid up. What? Yeah, I know, I know, right? We all got we all got one of those things, but um, so he poops with the lid up. So it was kind of the director was off, and I forgot to tell him like, dude, you just from one to ten, you just put on one, yeah, and you're good. And he just cranks it up to ten. Oh. The director is off, and he comes out, and he's just like. <laughs> he like walks out. I'm like, you good? And he's like, yeah, not for me, bro. <laughs> so like, but you know, he was yeah, he was the first one that called. So I was yeah. like, you got to get over here. And yeah, you you got to get over there. I, I, I I'm pretty sure they were on vacation. I made them come home from vacation early. Like you try to this today. Yeah. Now. I sit on it frontwards. <laughs> I was like, no, I didn't do that. And you, and you, eat, you eat no. cereal. You eat cereal. Oh, yeah. I sit on it frontwards. Back in the <laughs> that's a, now that's sanitary. But yeah. the the point of all this is is that's that's a brother. Um, that's they're born for for adversity. Yeah. They're, and also through uncomfortable times. Right. That yeah. you can be you. That you can call about a bidet. Yeah. That you can call about something exciting. Yeah. But we say born for adversity. The yeah. Bible says, Proverbs says, Solomon says, born for adversity. Yeah. But I think we need to add a caveat to that. Mm-hmm. I think a brother is born through adversity. Yeah, I no, agree. Amen to that. I totally agree with that. Um, through adversity. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of the people that's in my brother group um, that, man... They became adversity expedited the brotherhood. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. I, I I think that is so true. Like trauma, adversity, something like that. That expedites that process because it takes it takes a while for you to yeah. get to where you can build the trust um, and to where you can build that camaraderie with some somebody to where you know they be they become they're on that brother level, right? Yeah. Um, but you're absolutely right. That trauma, adversity, it 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 just expedites it. Well, I, I it, what comes to mind is like. Um, uh, shows like you know like naked and afraid and um, 
and those like survival shows where if you're dropped off with somebody on an island and you're forced to survive and you're let's say you're only going to be there for 10 days right well like within that 10 days like you're you're going to build something with that oh, person because it's like you're both going through something together yeah you're going to so so you're right well that, that you would know, even be boot camp well that's uh i was going to mention you know talking about that you know I mentioned, I think, on the first episode that I used to be a state trooper, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, I went through a 20-week academy in Nashville. Yeah. You see how Patrol Academy, you know. And uh, there were 63 of us that ended up graduating, you know. 100 of us started or whatever. But, man, there's a brotherhood there. Right. Just mm-hmm. through our 20 weeks of, you know what I'm saying, of, of what we went through, you know. And I'm not saying it was totally terrible, you know. But we were away from our families and all yeah. that. We had to kind of confide within each other. And that that's still kind of like a... You know, I'm not police no more, but when he, I'll take up for the police. You know, it's just yeah. I'm very pro police, 110 percent. Even though 20 of them showed up in my house one time to throw <laughs> me in jail, <laughs> rightfully so, because I, I I deserved it. But you know, it's because I, I think I still just have that strong brotherhood yeah. Yeah. For, for that. You know. Well, you and, made the statement. I bleed blue, and you. It's yeah. been years since you've yeah. been a trooper. Oh yeah, like um, seven or eight years, right? Yeah, that's really how me and you become. Yeah, where where we're at, you know. Um, you know, Casey, Casey, and my Casey's daughter, one of Casey's daughters, and my oldest daughter, Ansley, um, have been friends since kindergarten. We started yeah. going to school together, whatnot. So Tiffany and Katie, my T- Casey's wife, Tiffany and Katie, kind of talked. Uh, and all that kind of stuff, but and me and Casey had met a couple times yeah, in passing. Uh, in passing, and uh, you know, um, when I went to jail, you come and see me in jail, and I well, I know who you was, and um, the the first uh, I think you came see me a couple times in jail, I did. and uh, <laughs> I even had a, a a tablet visit with you one time. Yeah, you did, didn't <laughs> you? And uh, but man, like that right there just spark something yeah. and realistically me and you wouldn't be sitting here today if it wasn't for casey you know right. what i'm saying yeah. because i'd never wound up at watts bar yeah. and just just what it's transpired into so i wholeheartedly agree that it don't have because in real life me and you would have never crossed paths right. i mean yeah. other than when i was police and you was yeah you know cops and robbers for real you know yeah. um but uh in real life, me and Bob would have never come back because we didn't really hang out in high school. Right. We, I mean, we hung we, out because yeah. we, we're from a small county, yeah. and we, me and you, yeah, we hung out with everybody. Other. We were, yeah. where we were, yeah. we were, we were friends. Yeah, like yeah. We, we were, like we were probably a little bit more than acquainted, but we were friends. Yeah, we certainly weren't on like a brother status, right. Like we are now. I mean, but yeah, you're you're right. Yeah, and that just goes to show you. And see, so yeah, and I've got some, I've got some friends. That were brothers at one time though, that that's just not no more. Now I've still got some that I could call on. Yeah, ain't talked to them yeah. in however long, and I could call on. I know I, I've got a couple of them, you know, but I've got some too that I would have swore on a stack of Bibles. Yeah, passed a lie detector test for you to hook me up to it. That we'd have been best friends, brothers for the rest of my life, and yeah, and. Uh, Probably uh, barely say hi to each other in a Walmart yeah. or something. Yeah. Well, in our case, you, Piggly Wiggly. Can, can you pinpoint um, exactly what it is that you think maybe that, that that's not the, um, the case anymore? Do you think your challenges made them look differently at you? Yeah, or? absolutely. Absolutely. Now, I do have some, though, that's been mm-hmm. there. Through, yeah. uh, and, like, I could call on. Like, I, I've got a couple that, that I know I could call on no matter what. That were disappointed in me, right? I'm no. not going to sit there and say that they wasn't disappointed right. in me, you know. But I'll tell you what, and and I know Casey's heard me share this um, in our Celebrate Recovery, but uh, I've, I've always had good friends. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, decent people. As far as society views people. Society views people. people and all that. But I've never had brothers like I do now. That if I'm trying to if I'm if I'm walking through something yeah yeah that point me in the direction of okay biblically what are we going to do about it you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying yeah give me that that wisdom you know right. to to not the what I would you know yeah well by God I tell you what I do I drive down the, you yeah. know what I'm saying type deal yeah, yeah. and uh, and I never knew what I was missing yeah does that make sense yeah, yeah. I, I never knew what I was missing till I till I got a network of brothers like that. Right. You know? That that 
that kind of reminds me of, we we kind of had this conversation a couple of weeks ago if you remember um where we were in a room with a bunch of guys and we were just kind of talking about and i think um man culture and just growing up and um i mean it was it was one of those things that like amongst men it was like you just don't talk about it you yeah. know you don't talk about things you uh if you're struggling keep it hidden keep it deep dark down yeah. inside and don't ever bring it up you that know like you gotta keep, yeah and and um you know if you're dealing with something just uh you know get over it toughen up right yeah. and um and and I I don't think that's the case anymore. But I think that a lot of people are kind of just now finding. I mean, for us, I mean, like at our, at our age, you know, I mean, I, I would I would say it's probably not something that we had our entire lives. No. You know, um, unless you were kind of in that that culture, right? Um, but but the, I I noticed, man, I looked around a, a a group of men, and and without getting into any details about what we were talking about. You could just kind of see this light bulb on a bunch of faces yeah. where it was like, like you can have these conversations, yeah. you know, like you can, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You can call somebody up and, yeah. and have that conversation, you know, like what? And, you know, and that's where it, it's that right there. All, all of this is, is built on trust, yeah. you know, and, and we had talked about, you talked about, you know, losing brothers, you know, and I, I think the, the one glue that kind of holds brothers together is trust yeah i mean it, th- that's the only thing i can think of for me because i can remember i had friends um that were i mean just i considered brothers and it wasn't until either i lost trust in them or they lost trust in me yeah that that dissipated um there are still people to this day that i could not see them for five years and show up and I mean, it's just like, yeah. we, you know what I'm saying? We It's like we yeah. never even left. Yep. Um, we've been like that a yeah. hundred times. Like, I mean, so. There are no uh, California sober days. <laughs> it just got, yeah, I just remember. <laughs> well, we've seen each other all the time, man. But there was a, there was a time where I kind of, Bob knew I was far gone. Uh, you know, I was in and out of jail. Yeah. And uh, I think he was seriously worried and also didn't know exactly what to do I, yeah. to try to help me. Yeah. Um, so sometimes in that, when you realize the person doesn't want help, even yeah. though you love them dearly, you've got to take some steps back and yeah. let them yeah. try to. That's part of being a brother as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is knowing that when somebody doesn't want your help anymore, and, and I'll pray for them, and that, yeah. that's something I'll do. But what I, you got to be willing to say the best thing for you is to not have any help right, right now. Yeah. Right. The best thing for you is for you to have to be yeah. accountable to some law or somebody yep. higher than what I can give yep. you right now. I can't give you the help that you need. Yep. And, and I think that's what's missing in this society. Um, we grew up. I'm 40. I'll be 44 next month. Y'all are dead, but we still grew up in a sequence of time where when we were younger, men didn't really talk about their yep. emotions. Yep. Now, Guys, I won't necessarily say all men, mm-hmm. they talk about it too much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and being a man is almost vilified. Yeah. So we're in a really odd space where we have seen with our own eyes not talking about emotions right. and then overplaying our emotions yeah. to a point where we're we have, there's almost a femininity to it. Right. Yeah. Not that that's bad. I've got some of my friends that are feminine. I'm talking about the masculinity being took out of men. That's right. And, and we got to find that balance. And I mm-hmm. think that's where we are, knowing that we can be transparent, we can be vulnerable, yeah. but we can also be guarded around those that yeah. are not I think it's. I, th- I just think it's so it's unwise to not be guarded. Yeah. You know, and, and that is, I mean, I'm not saying that you need to walk around with, you know, with a shield up everywhere you go, but there, you have to use discernment as far as when, when can I let my guard down? You know what I'm saying? You can't walk around shielded like that yeah. all the time. And, and there are times I can say there are times in my own life where there were, where I should have been more guarded. And because I thought that I was being a brother, I wasn't. And, and there, I have regrets. I have some regrets that have happened uh, in relationships that I really genuinely cared yeah. about people, yeah. um, you know. And and I should have been. And I thought that I was doing the right thing by not putting up. You, you got it. Can be so dangerous for you. Oh, it can. It can because um, not everybody has your interest at heart. Right. No. You know yeah. what I'm saying. And that's yeah. why your circles got to. Yeah. I mean, well, I th- you do. I yeah. think you have to be guarded. Even and we'll say this in CR. Some people's biggest obstacle is their own family. Yeah. 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 
Um, so even if it does removing or if that's removing a sibling and hoping God works that out, knowing that you've done everything you can do. But, um, yeah, I think you do have to be guarded, but you do have to use wisdom. I can't walk around like I used to be because I was hurt previously or mm-hmm. I hurt and not willing to let people in. Yeah. Also, I cannot go around just sharing everything about me and That's just right. letting giving yeah. people a platform yeah. like that man did on the video right. to be able to tear me apart yeah. that doesn't even know us, right. you, me, you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's where we're at with that. As I found, as like this friendship thing grows, as I as I grow, as I actually care about mm-hmm. people. Yeah, you know, there's a point in my life where I cared about nobody, and I would say I didn't care about anybody but myself. But the truth is, yeah. I hated myself, yeah. so I hated other people too. Yeah. But as God has put a love for myself yeah. there, and not an ego, mm-hmm. but a love for the gift of life that He's given me. Yeah. That gift of life also includes the people He strategically put in my life. Yeah. That's right. That yeah. I that now I choose to acknowledge. Right. And now that I feel like God whispers to you, he don't have to yell, and he says, this is a person that's going to be by your side. Yeah. Uh, This is somebody you can count on in a time of war. You know, I do have friends. I believe either one of y'all would fight for me physically. Yeah. Yeah. But the biggest fight of your life might be walking through addiction with somebody. It might be walking one of your brothers through divorce. Yeah. Um, my brother Chris, man, um, one of the most devastating times of him and my, I say sister Janet because I've never known Chris mm-hmm. without Janet being right. there. Yeah. I, I'm 16 years younger. Chris got married when he was 18. Yeah. Oh, wow. So yeah. I never knew a time With that Chris I could, without Janet. Chris right? without yeah. Janet. Yeah. So when I say sister, that's my sister. Yeah. So, but when he was walking through that, and previously, Chris, all he could do is pray for me. Mm-hmm. God allowed me mm-hmm. to be able to walk Chris through that. And wow. I, I think, man, that was like he is my brother and mm-hmm. Kelly is my brother and yeah. Kelly's got to walk some walk through me through some stuff. But man, to be able to walk somebody else yeah. through their yeah. adversity, yeah. to yeah. be there even though sometimes it was unwanted, yeah. even though it was wanted, man, to see him now and it, and it could have ended Differently, right. God worked it out yeah. for the, in their favor. But no matter what, to be able to walk with Him through something and know it wasn't because I was being selfish, mm-hmm. yeah. it's because I was doing what brothers do. Yeah, yeah. And I would do that for either one of you two. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's the way I feel about it. This is like I get emotional today for some reason thinking about this. But uh, the story that pops in my head, you know, me and Bob had some distance between us for a while. A lot of it was because I was incarcerated. Mm-hmm. Uh, state of Tennessee locked me up but I started coming back to church Mm -hmm. Um, I'm sure everybody is skeptical on whether I'm going to change is this the time or whatever whatever it might Uh, keep in mind I've stolen from almost everybody in the church not only that and this is really crappy mom and mom and dad were the pastors so they had a list of addresses of people so if I thought they were church I would go steal from them while they were at church. That's how crappy of a human being I was. I'm just trying to give some context to this story. So whenever I'm getting back and trying to do right, and I am doing right, and God has given me a job. He's helping me and Tiffany out as much as we can handle, whatever at a time. Mom gets extremely sick, um, and she's home on hospice. What a brother does... Is man, I can remember me and Tiffany were mom's caregivers. Bob brings Jill and who else over to the house on a Sunday morning. Mom has been incoherent, not talking for two days. And bring and Bob brings and on a Sunday morning plays worship music for mom. And um Man, that is a brother right there. Yeah. That's uh, like, and the thing about it is, is that love reached down somewhere deep in her, and she came to and was able to experience that, wow. that kind of church, even if it was for a moment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what kind of love a real brotherhood yeah. brings. Yeah. Um, I know it's because Bob had love for my mom, but I know it's because he's seen his yeah. brother hurting at yeah. home too, yeah. taking care, and he's like, hey. We're going to do something. And the only way I know how to do it. That's yeah. right. And yeah. the only way I know how to do yeah. it is to pick up a guitar yeah. and sing and bring some peace. Because at this point, Mom wasn't even talking. Bob, as far as he knew, it was like a funeral. It yeah. wasn't for right. her. Yeah. 
But she, he, the reward he got for being a brother was getting to see her eyes open up and her communicate yeah. for mm-hmm. just a little bit. And I've never told you that, but that, like, talking about things that bond you closer and closer yeah. and closer, stuff like that, dude. Well, and I think, too, you know, Bob's gifted there. Yeah. Gifted. Um, hands down. Uh, actually, we just uh, got to hear a preview of a, Something, something coming out and just dropping pretty soon. Blow your mind. Just how, just blow your mind. But so Bob used that God gifted talent, right? Yeah. To come over there for your mom, you know. You used a a gift of recovery mm-hmm. that you had to reach me, right? Yeah. You've got to use your gifts, right, that you've yeah. been given. And, and I think that through that, is where you build your network of yeah. brotherhood too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not trying to be somebody you're not. You know what I mean? Like not yeah. trying to because I don't think God works that way. If if you know yeah. you're a frog and you're trying to be a toad. Yeah. God's not going to allow you just to form a strong brotherhood with toads. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um so I, I think, you know, just uh use your God-given gifts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Use your God-given gifts and and he'll orchestrate how it needs to go because you know Six seven years ago, I was police, right? I didn't want nothing to do with no druggies and all that kind of stuff. Mm. And man, you two days a week, you you'll find me in the crowd because that's what I am. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm mm. in recovery, and yeah. that's my people now. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I think it all like circles back to that one thing Bob mentioned: trust. Yeah, yeah. Trust. When you're building that relationship, yeah, you're born for adversity, through adversity, but through that adversity, you start to accumulate trust. Mm -hmm. Uh, There's different instances. You can damage trust. Mm -hmm. You can have trust destroyed. Yeah. What's been the case is some, you know, to some people I knew that it took them a long time to forgive me. Yeah. Brothers, uh, like, it took them a long time to forgive me. Yeah. And we've re- God has restored that, not yeah, Casey, uh, not because Ca- Casey screws everything up. But God has restored that, and um, but trust is the foundation for any relationship. Any, and if you're going to battle, mm-hmm. I want to be able to trust the person beside me. Yeah, yeah. you got to. I mean, yeah. you you, I, to. I don't want to go to battle with somebody that I know mm-hmm. doesn't. When I say my interest, I mean the interest. Of all of us. Yeah. I, I think the one thing that you were talking about, we all have, Bob has the gift of music and humor. And I, and I think we all have not the gift of music, but all of us have different avenues of humor. But the one gift is our love for people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because what we've been through and that love has been able to uh, form us into yeah. a, a brotherhood rather we're well, not quickly me and bob knew each other it's a, it's a very very we have so much history we do my favorite i still i'm, say, I'm, about, I'm about tired of hearing all y'all old i still say I'm just saying. <laughs> i mean I, hey yeah I we'll st- have some i still say some of your famous lines like i called i called jonathan moleskill today <laughs> and most of these lines came out of your drug addiction and i don't even think you knew what they meant i didn't know what they meant uh, deep dark dog hole of an abyss is Still one yeah. of my favorite lines ever. That's yes. amazing. <laughs> so I mean, just that was most the way I felt. <laughs> yeah, you know. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, a lot, a lot comes out of that. I'm, I'm extremely humbled by what you said because that, uh, you know, I didn't know that. I didn't know that it affected yeah. you that way. And 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 I don't think I don't think we realize it. You know, I mean, but you're you're both right in the sense of I've got certain like Kelly's brother to me. You yeah. know, um, he's like a he's like a father figure and a brother. Uh, which is kind of weird, but no, we're, we're, we learned his style. We, so no, he's what it he's is. more like a grandfather yeah. to me. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good-looking grandfather. Yeah, he, he's also Shout my boss. <laughs> so, um, but no, there's. I mean, there's there are certain things that I, I get from you guys and being a brother, and there are certain things I get from him being a brother. Um, with him, there's always this this sense of like where I can just go and talk. We can have real conversation. We can do that with with, with you guys, but there's always this sense of like resolution that comes from a com- conversation right. with him. You know? I get it, yeah. And, but here's here's the thing too. Like I know that if I come to you and I say, hey, I need you to hold me accountable on this, you're going to do it. Now, 
me and Kelly, we're so ADD. We're, we're, yeah. we're not really good at holding each other accountable. Yeah. I mean, we'll like we'll hold each other accountable about certain things, but like if I'm like, hey, you know, keep me on this. We need to. We have a deadline. We got to get this done. We're we're terrible about it because yeah. we'll both get in a meeting where we're like, we're tired. You know? like, <laughs> yeah. just, but I'm tired. but I mean, there there are certain things. I mean, you have this incredible gift of just speaking to somebody and just making them feel welcome and yeah. making them feel at home. Well, thank you. And and I. As I guess as I get older, I, like I find like I'm that's not really like like me. I I forget so much now. So I, like I don't. But you're you're you always call and check on you always call and check on me, um, and it's just like just that sense of caring and, and stuff. I mean I know that like I'm gonna get a phone call from you guys. Yeah. I know that I'm going to. Yeah. You know, um, there are other friends or brothers that like. Um, like that, that accountability side's not really there, but there's other things that come out of those relationships that either I give to them or they give to me. Yeah. And, um, you know, you just, like you said, you just do it to how you know how to do it. And I don't know any, any other way than just to be myself. There have been times where you've called me and was like, Hey, you know, like you might want to call so-and-so like they're having a bad day. Like, I think they would just like to hear, yeah. you know, from you today. And I'm like, you know, and not that anybody else couldn't call them, but that's just kind of, you know, you know, just like make somebody laugh. Yeah. You know, or Bob just... has the gift of disarming somebody with humor. Oh yeah, and then gut punching them with love. <laughs> yeah, and like it, it's like it's an unexpected combination where you're like, <laughs> I don't even. I, I feel better. Well, <laughs> I, I do want to bring up something because that what you said too, and you brought up PK, right? Yeah, and I think that amongst our 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 network of brothers, right? Yeah, um, it made me think of. Uh, the Paul, Barnabas, and Timothy, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they say everybody needs a Paul, a Barnabas, and a Timothy, right? A yeah. Paul is someone you look up to, yeah, right? Who's a little further along on their walk than yeah. you are, right? Barnabas is right there beside you. You're an encourager. You know what I'm saying? Kind of, in essence, as three, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, hey, I'm going to bounce this off of you. Yeah. You know, yeah. type deal. Yeah. And then a Timothy, somebody you kind of mentor type deal. And, you know, the Paul is more like the PK, right? Yeah. Because, hey, I'm going to, somebody like PK or, or somebody like that, you know, I want to go to and say, Hey, like, this is what I've got going on. You know, what I need. And I do this with Casey some too, but we're still at that brother, that Barnabas brother, yeah. you know, brotherhood level to where, eh, I don't know if I really like what you said, Casey. Let me go find somebody else. Yeah, let me go find. And I, I try know. not to do that much anymore, but you know, I, I get that. Yeah. You know, I, I get that, you know, and, uh, and that's too, is we got to have the brothers like that. We're going to yeah. have the, we, we can't just all have Barnabas. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. We have to have Paul's and we have to have Timothy's too, yeah. you know? Yeah. You, you've got to be, you've got to be, be gleaning from somebody and you need to be gleaning on somebody. That's right. Yeah, um, I think that's and, important. And, and and then you've got other people that are kind of like like you said, just kind of right there in the same walk with you. They were like, "Hey, are you going through this crap?" Yeah, because I am too, and this yeah. sucks really bad, you know. Um, and then you know, so there's there's so many different types of brothers, um, and it's important that you know that we're exercising that with with all of them. I think um, it's it's important to be a big brother. It's important to be a little brother. Yeah, you know? yeah. and and be teachable and be moldable. That's, you know, and that's the thing is you're. Your um, position in that hierarchy changes with whatever oh, yeah. brother you're yeah. with. It does. You know, yeah. um, it does. Yeah, it's not like you're a Timothy or you're a Paul all mm-hmm. the time. Yeah, you might change to a Timothy. Yeah. Like if you're around somebody that that you re- not respect, I hold immense respect for each right. of y'all. But I feel like there's some people where we're kind of on an even keel unless it's mm-hmm. something that is your specialty. And then there's some people like, and I think experience might have a lot to do with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you think about people that's been through more than you have. You tend to trust their opinion through the experience they've gone through. Yeah. Um, and that's my thing is like I still count – Kelly and Chris as like Pauls to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But through adversity, they start leaning on me a little Amen. bit in roles that I think I, ta- I talked about it earlier, walking Chris through that. Me and Kelly got the honor of doing mm-hmm. that. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but those roles change and they change individually and then they change within each other. There might be some way specifically that I'm a Paul to you. Yeah. Yeah. But there might be some way specifically that Vice versa, right? You know, right. so I, I think that's an important and yeah. interesting mm-hmm. dynamic yeah. that you bring up there, because I, I think those roles consistently shift with whatever brother yeah. you're with, yeah. or within the same group, yeah. depending on the topic. Yeah, um, you know, if y'all want to know about basketball, y'all come to me. Yeah, 
And I no. <laughs> if you don't come yeah, to me, there we go. Don't come you to know, me. If you want to know about, you know, Brent, I don't know anything. About, Brent said he can dunk. He yeah. used to be able to dunk. I could. If, if you want to know about ultimate frisbee, <laughs> hey, you don't want to come don't, to me. Don't, don't, come, don't come to me because I cuss somebody out. Like <laughs> Manny, I'm sorry, bro. If you ever listen to this, I am so sorry. <laughs> Did you hear the story? I have it. Okay. Let me guess it's got to do with you and Bob. Yeah, yeah. We're, yeah you know, we're just hanging out like we always do. All right. <laughs> so it's the young adults playing Frisbee, yeah, uh, yeah. Ultimate Frisbee here in Dayton. Manny, he's keyboard running sound yeah. at the time. Him and his brother show up there to play, and they play. I've never played before a day in my life. Yeah. Okay. I'm out there, and I've kind of got a competitive bone in my body. You know, um, Bubba's really good. Bobby, yeah. Bobby's yeah. actually yeah. really good. I am not. Yeah. Good good at this sport and you you think basketball will get you ended you do nothing but run the whole <laughs> it's crazy. time is this what is this what we, what, what we played in yeah. Wayne and Megan's yeah. oh my yeah. gosh oh, yeah. God. and we were playing over like 100 yards oh, yeah. 75 yeah. yards dude and yes. okay they show up and they're acting like they're the LeBron James of Ultimate Frisbee. Like, and so it's like, and they were good. They were good. They were really good. They were always, yeah. always taking me out. And, yeah. they, and they knew there was, it. There was clearly, like, they were Division One, we were Division Three. Yeah. Yeah. It, was like, yeah. it was an evident, and, for sure. And they're, it's a little too much for my hot head to take at this time. I'm not as far along in my walk with God as I am now. So they're saying something, and I say something back, and he says something in Spanish that I notice... That is not very nice. <laughs> you know what, what I'm saying? He's like, hey, okay, and, I, and I'm getting furious. And, yeah, he, and Bob's he's, trying to, hey, guys. I, I you know, jumped he, in. Hey, like, I jumped in. I was like, come on. We're and, good, we're and, good. and I'm like, hey, <laughs> I, I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to kick both of y'all's blankety blank, whatever. I, I'm done with this. I'm kicking both of y'all. I'm going to tell you what. And, and man, he's like, Pastor Casey, calm down. Pastor Casey. I said, I might be a pastor, but I got out of prison and I ain't playing with that. And I was like, oh. and then immediately an hour later, I'm thinking that was the dumbest line ever. I should have never said that. I automatically, like, I threw up prison uh, yeah. as like, hey, I'm dangerous. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, that's dude, your street cred right that's there. That's my baby. street cred. Hey, yeah. I can get whipped with the best of them. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, hey, man, I'm telling you, when, when we play, that's 4th of July, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Hey, dude, the best like I thought, I've ever been I ran used into to play it. That I guarantee you. You did run into you a dream. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I guarantee you that, that a man played that two days a week. No, dude. dude we Shoot, used to, you we look used like to Channel Tatum. I, and I did look like Channing Tatum, just bolder mm-hmm. and bigger. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah. Oh, Magic we, Mike we, Channing Tatum? We, dude, we, we get out there on a Thursday night, and there's like, you get to that point where where like you feel like you're going to die, and yeah. you can't and you breathe, the and then wind. you're just like, and you're like, we can go for eight more yeah. hours, and you like take your shirt off, yeah. and you know, and you're running, <laughs> and it's like muddy, and you got mud all over, and you're just ultimate frisbee in slow-mo. Yeah. It's really cool. So, <laughs> but man, I... I yeah, you can get in shape. I need yeah, to get in shape. Me and you both. But that's another thing for a brother to do is to try to hold. But it sucks when you're trying to hold, like, all three of us are out of shape. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it really sucks to try to hold well, each other accountable. Well, speak for yourself because yeah. I'm well, clearly the Bobby best shape Bobby is here. in great shape. But, um, like, yeah. I'm, I'm A shape. <laughs> <laughs> I am, yeah, I am I'm certainly A shape. Yeah. For sure. So me and Bob don't get all the story time. Um, Praise the Lord. You know, me and. Uh, Brent went to um, what's the name of that water park? We went to oh, um, Soaky Mountain. Soaky Mountain. Soaky. Have you ever been to Soaky Mountain? Uh, it was my first time, and uh, for my inaugural time, it was really a special occasion. So, the, so we go in there and we're playing around. Well, they got like this floaty obstacle course, oh. and. Um, <laughs> This this is another way you grow. You know, like you yeah. said, you and Kramer, yeah. like naked, <laughs> seeing each other. So me and Brent are like, all bets are off, dude. I can take you. My old buck can take you. Yeah. Us. And you're lined up on each side. We're talking crap. Like, and we're like, hard. hey, it's going down. You know, uh, me me at the club. It's going <laughs> down. Yeah. No, hey. we, but hey. we were talking crap back and forth to each other. And so that we're on opposing sides. And there is a ch- a chasm. <laughs> We'll call it in between where you got to jump to the float. Yeah. So I weigh 240 pounds and I'm five foot nine. So I resemble like SpongeBob Square butt. <laughs> so, so that being said, like my belly and gravity is constant and the lack of a butt yeah. is constantly pushing shorts down. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. So I take off 
they say go, I jump. I miss it right there, and I go to come up and pull myself up. When I pull myself up, my shorts came down. Yes. And, like, I'm talking, dude. Like, I don't get embarrassed that much. Yeah. But, like, I, like I told Tev, she's like, you're so, – like, and I've struggled. Like, I can't yeah. even pull them up, bro. Yeah. And, like, and there's lines <laughs> of kids and families and stuff behind me. Like, I've traumatized somebody. <laughs> that makes like, me better. thank God Brent is struggling over there without his butt out. <laughs> right. But he's struggling nonetheless, so he doesn't see it. But there is, like, dogs probably will never be the same. <laughs> yeah. Um, I get up there and finally – I get up there and pull my pants up, man, and I get swim. I fall off like almost immediately, so yeah. the swim of shame did too. was even worse. I yeah. get up and Tiffany's like, "You're so red. You don't get embarrassed." I was like, "Man, like it probably wasn't that bad if they just seen my butt, but I'm pretty sure they seen my tonsils." <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god! I'm pretty sure they like. They knew what, if I had a cavity or not. Like they seen up up in there. They saw so everything. like, and I say that to say, it's not only times of adversity, but it's those times of joy. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. joy and laughter, man. That you know, I, I was there walking Brent through that stuff mm-hmm. at first and holding him accountable, but he's been there to hold me accountable. Yeah. And we've got to share literally joy, yeah. man. Yeah. Seeing his family come to church, his daughters worshiping, getting to pray with them. Yeah, this is real moments of joy that. A brother's born for adversity, but the first part of that verse is so important. A friend loveth at all times. Let's not forget that a brother is a friend. Yes. That's right. Yes. So a friend loveth at all times. So you get to go through that stuff with somebody, Mm -hmm. but you get to live life with those people. Yeah. Yeah. I get to experience joy, embarrassment, Mm -hmm. things that you're going to call me out on, or I'm going to, it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. And if somebody else was to say something, I'd be pissed. Yeah. Yeah. But, and, and if somebody else would say something about one of you, then, you know, we get pissed about it. So, I mean, yeah, dude, I've got the best stories with the best of brothers. Like those are the best, just the best stories that I have are just literally just doing life with the people that I care about the most. And, And you know, and and, then God created us to fellowship though. Yeah. You know, I mean, look at Jesus, right? I mean, his last three years, I mean, he had 12 dudes running around with him, yeah. you know? I mean, all the time. Yeah. You know? You can't tell me there wasn't a brotherhood there. Yeah. Well, there, there most certainly and, was. And yeah. that, you know, so, I mean, we're created for that and to do that, yeah. you know? Um, we're created to be disciples. but uh, And to have fun. You know, the Bible doesn't speak a lot about the fun they had. It kind of yeah. – but, you know – they were so different. Yeah. They were so different. You know their personalities rubbed each other such the wrong way that's, sometimes. That's why I love The Chosen, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have y'all, have y'all seen love Chosen? Yeah, it's you done really it. well. I'm, oh, it, I'm it one portrays. Of those, and and I, I mean, I just want to be careful in saying this, but to be fair, um, the Christian movie industry has not done super great. Mm-hmm. Um you know, historically, so I mean, they're just they're just a it's lot of better. Time, it's better. It, yeah. Normally, it's like I just don't even want to watch it. And yeah. I love Jesus, but I don't really yeah. care for Kirk Cameron. So, yeah. Yeah. just to be honest, I'm just throwing that out there. That's my opinion. But who's uh, that? Yeah, so, is it the chosen? Ain't nothing. To do no, with the chosen? He no, okay. no, 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 no. no uh, I just say the chosen portrays yeah. like because it shows like all the fun stuff. Yeah. You know, the like, chosen Jesus like, having fun. The chosen stuff is like done that. really well. Yeah, I really enjoy the chosen. Yeah. I will say that. I'm a movie guy. I love mo- movies, music. My whole family does. It's kind of ingrained in us. But, like, I remember when I was not a Christian and mom would try to get me watch. I think there was a movie called The War Room or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. And she's like, you got to watch this, Casey. And, I, and I'm, like, not a Christian <laughs> whatsoever. But what makes it worse is, like, the worst acting ever. Like, yeah. they got their youth pastor to play a role right. in it or something mm-hmm. worst that you could tell like and i'm sitting over there making fun of it the whole mo- movie and mom is seething she is so mad <laughs> like she, i will never watch another movie with you again. <laughs> not, i will never ever the disrespect you had like and i'm sitting over there just going in on it yeah but i will have i will say that the christian movie industry like this podcast yeah, yeah. has become a place where People can make movies that aren't necessarily Christian movies, but because they're Christians, they display Christian values, right. yeah. Yeah. and that message is still yeah. carried forward. I, I can't help, and we've said it. This is episode three, but I mean, I'm. I was just thinking when you guys were sitting here talking 
uh, I'm like, man, like for this not being a Christian podcast, this is, this is a Christian podcast. It's a Christian yeah. podcast. Yeah. It is you know? what it is. So. It's, a, it's evident. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know, like I don't, I call people, you know, there's some people that are in your life that you talk to and then they're just God, God, God all the time. Yeah. And, and there's nothing wrong with yeah. that. I myself like to talk about other things yeah. in church. Yeah. We're at church all the time, so I might like to talk about sports, yeah. a movie, something I've seen on TV, mm-hmm. a Jordan Peterson po- podcast, yeah. whatever else. That being said, my faith still comes out in every avenue of every, yeah. that, I, that, I, that my faith yeah. is going to come out. It may not be like the forefront of the conversation, but it's in the conversation. Yeah, it's yeah. in the conversation. It's in the conversation. Yeah. And, yeah, a lot of people have a hard time believing. Uh, I think they think if we're in ministry or pastors, like that's just, that's all we ever talk about, and that's like, you know, and it's just it's just not true. It's, it's <laughs> no. not. Well, yeah. well, we talk about it so much that when we're not, you know, like yeah, yeah I, I like to, I like movies, I like video games. I like to, yeah. you know, I mean, I like to have. Yeah, a I life, like. Uh, I, I've not yet found a Christian video game. I've not either. I've not. No. So, but I still like. Hey, there might be a market for yeah. it. Right? I still like it the medium. You know, and that, maybe there's a chosen PS5. Yeah. Game. It could be. What? <laughs> I can only imagine what's going on there. <laughs> That's what it's called. Exactly. I can only imagine. Can <laughs> 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 uh, sh- uh, But talking about that, you know, I think people might get it misconstrued mis- too that hey, I I I love this. Oh, I love, there's a couple things I love. You know, you might be the only Bible somebody ever reads, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or if somebody has to ask you if you're Christian, then yeah. you're probably yeah. not living right type of deal. But that don't mean that I have to go throw no. Jesus down your throat and yeah. all that stuff. Like yeah. you should be able to see through me just the way I act, yeah. the way I love. Yeah. The way I I carry myself, the way my household carries itself. You know what I'm saying? Like that should be. Yeah. Not me knocking on your door. Riding a bicycle yeah. in a suit and tie and running every yeah. knock on your door and asking him church type deal, I, you know. I, I want to ask you a question, and this may not even go on the podcast, but just something that really is just a question for me. Um, a Jehovah's Witness came to the, the door the other day. Uh, very nice lady came out. I can tell there was her. I think it was her son, her, her adult son, and um, there were a couple people in the car, and. I walk out and uh, I mean, like I'm, I look like I look and, you know, um, I'll tat it up and I'm a there's big dude. Yeah, there's probably. an assumption, you know, uh, and she was very kind. Um, I could tell that they were doing, you know, they were doing work and she gets out. But like her, her first conversation with her, the start of the conversation with me was, um, in in the Bible, it says, blah, 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 like, what do you think it means by, you know, like, the firmament in the sky and, like, just starts going off on this, like, Bible lesson with me in, in my the front of my house. And, and I, you know, I, I talked to her for a minute, and, and but I was thinking to myself, I was like, man, like, this is, like, like, this is a conversation that you would have amongst Christians, you know what I'm saying? And, like, if you're, if you're out here, if your intention, I guess, is to, to convert people, people right. or, you know, or, or draw people in, like... I, you know, although I like you're doing more than I'm doing, <laughs> you know, you're, Man, you're showing up at somebody's house for sure. Um, and super kind, super nice about it. But I think the conversation uh, that she's having is, is more, I get uh, more of like a conversation that I would have with somebody who was right, who was a believer, you know, yeah. Um, because I think, I think the Bible holds as much weight as the person who reads it gives it, yes, you know, or the person who, you know. Not only that, I mean, because here's the, here's the thing, right? If we go up and, and just start quoting scriptures to somebody, right, and say, hey, uh, you know, Revelation, blah, 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 you know, we just start quoting scriptures, that means nothing to somebody who yeah. doesn't care anything about a Bible. Yeah. Any, they, don't, they don't care about Christianity. They don't care about religion. They don't care about God. An atheist, or has that, no that, understanding yeah, of it. Has no understanding of it. That, that would be the same thing if a Muslim were to come in and say, well, in the Quran it says blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, yeah. I don't care. I'm not, you know, I'm not, yeah. I'm not Muslim. Yeah. You know, well, that's uh, I'll, I'll just use an example more than try to articulate it in another way. Um, my I call him my nephew. It's my niece Sheridan's husband, Bo. Yeah, an amazing guy. Yeah, y'all oh, know love him. him. Bo is love that I mean, dude. superior human being. Mm-hmm. Um, and he would tell you, so I'm not bad mouth him or anything because he's a human yeah. that absolutely loves his family, mm-hmm. loves people, and he goes to church more than most Christians mm-hmm. yeah. because yeah. of the love he has for his wife. Right. So that being said, 
he does not necessarily believe. He doesn't believe in the God we believe in. Right. Uh, and and we I've had an opportunity through us just talking mm-hmm. for us to be able to share what we believe uh, each other and it's not combative. Mm. It's in a way that hey we're learning from each other. I'm trying yeah. to find out where he's at, not because of dogma yeah. or religious affiliation but because i care about him as a human right i want him to know that i was a person that was totally wrecked and he can see the evidence of a god working mm-hmm. yes. just because he knows me yeah that doesn't mean i pound him with scriptures or pound him with anything else my job to him is first and foremost i consider Bo to be like a brother to me even though there's space yeah there's yeah. things man i love that kid and i say yeah. kid Bo's i love dude. that guy that man yeah. that is the the model for how we're supposed to you know i don't want my love and and my um my ability to connect with people and become a brother sister friend or whatever mm-hmm. uh, to be exclusive to yeah. my faith yeah true uh, I don't. Yeah. I, I want them to be able to see things about me where they're like, oh, he's different. Yeah. But I don't want to be just because you're not a Christian, that's exclusive to me yeah. not being. Yeah. Now, there's situations and things I don't go into out yeah. of wisdom because of that my former. We, my there you go. That's exactly what we talked about, about being guarded about certain yeah. things. Yeah. And, and you can still be a brother. You can still have, have your guard. There, you know, you're going to get hurt. This is life, man. You're going to get hurt. You're going to you're gonna have ups. You're going to have downs. you got the ebbs and the flows. And, and with any relationship, you uh, you know, there's there are times that I'm gonna let you guys down. I know that there are times that you're gonna let me down, yeah. and and that. But being a brother, man, just being able to stick close and be able to to work through that adversity, work through yeah. um, all those times to be able to call me out when I'm being a douche and when you guys, yeah. you know, and just to you know, it'd be like in the mountains your, and yeah, the valleys, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. And that's what that's what this is for, man. That's yeah. what just being being a brother, man. When you need them. And when when they need you, that's, yeah. right. that's what it is. That's it. That's right. Through yeah. thick, thin, whatever, yeah. and knowing those times where you have to press in or step back. Yeah. And and I want to make this um, statement as before we wrap up, because we're talking about brotherhood and brothers mm-hmm. does not mean this is exclusive of, exclusive of women. That's right. right. Because yeah. women, you need sisters. And yeah. you know, some of my yeah. uh, really good friends I can talk about, you know, Jill, Jill Barger yeah. is like a sister to mm-hmm. me. Um, I've got other people I, I had thought, but but women need women. Yeah. That's right. And women need women. So yeah. this is not an exclusive conversation that we're talking about. What does it mean to be that person that is like a sibling yeah. to yeah. you? Maybe even more than a sibling yeah. because there's a love, trust, admiration, yeah. and a willingness to hold people accountable yeah. that maybe somebody else in your life yeah. you wouldn't trust to do that. Right. So this is for you women too. Yeah. So. Amen. amen. I think I, we just said amen. 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 <laughs> like that, that felt like we were in a segue at church. Like that was a transmission. Amen. All right. All right. Let's take up no, one offering. Take, yeah. So if you want to donate, <laughs> yeah. donate yeah. to uh, the, the, at Jokes Bros. Biblically says 10%, guys. Just saying. You know, we got James Lacombe, that is the generous donor. Yeah. Um, but we are always up for somebody yeah. else. If yeah. you see hey. this, if you see potential in it, if you see that it could grow by a means of anything, hey. We're not going to shun you yeah, away. Absolutely. If you want to sponsor, if you want to be a sponsor, hit us up in the uh, in our DMs. Slide into our DMs, and we'll yeah. we'll make that happen. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And let me uh, say this once again: like, like it and comment. Mm-hmm. Don't just watch. Don't be yeah. an observer. Yeah. Don't yeah. be in a casual observer. Yeah. Um, be a brother. Be a brother. Be a brother. Be a, brother. Be a sister. Yeah. Comment. Hey. And, uh, and su- subscribe. Yeah. yeah. Subscribe. Like, like uh, if you watch it. Yeah, subscribe to it. Send it. No. Send it to somebody that that you feel like needs this too. Yeah, yeah. you know, because we all need those people. We yeah. all need, and we need to be aware of those people in our life that might not be that, yeah. In, yeah. and they're just there mm-hmm. for, yeah. and we need to get rid of them. Yeah. yeah. So and send you, it, and if you see us too, like, let us know what you think. Yeah. Like, and I, I I've had people come up to me. Yeah. yeah. And uh, when's the next episode coming out? And I, I love it, right? Yeah. Like I get starstruck, you know. My kids are like, 
Yeah. Well, you know, I, where's I, the paparazzi I, at, I, Daddy? My, like, uh, I don't know. Uh, and, uh, you know, Kenley's but... Kenley's uh, principal, Justin Jennings, yeah. he's like, hey, uh, you want to go ahead and sign an autograph yeah. now before yeah. y'all get too famous? And Heck like, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. Awesome. But, but honestly, c- come up to us yeah. and, and shoot, let us know what you think. Let us know. Uh, give us some suggestions for yeah. some yeah. for some yeah. episodes, man. Some, some topics yeah. to talk about. Topics, yeah. Yeah, for uh, sure. suggestions. What could we do different? What could we yeah. do better? Um, if it's really offensive, you are not a brother status yet so don't be (laughs) don't be that open yeah um so no but really for real give us give us comments suggestions and comment like subscribe yep um thank you guys i think this has been one of the most organic authentic authentic raw episodes yet at number three i agree i agree um, thank you. It. I'm excited yeah. for the next one. Absolutely. Yeah. We don't even know what it's going to be. We but don't. we've got some special guests coming up in the future. That one of them is somebody that's dear to us. Mm-hmm. You've barely got to know him, yeah. but he's going to come We on. have a ton of stories with this <laughs> yeah. guy. It's great. It's so, I say, I don't even know. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's great. See, so guys, awesome. I'm left then, out all the time. the other one is, well, he's one of well, our best yeah. friends, too. Yeah, yeah but, well, we talk. Yeah, it's all, it's all. You know what? You know, hold on. It's I, like we got I, so many stories. Yeah. I, I think that uh, I'm just going to let Corey Barger start sitting in for me because y'all ain't going to know the difference anyway. <laughs> That's okay because we got a we lot of good stories with We got some good stories with Corey. Oh, Lord. No, uh, just, just Josh and you're just being yeah, a brother. Man, dude, I'm just, looking for new brothers out nice. there, guys. Hi. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's tough, you know bro. You, 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 can't, you can't have juxta bros without bros. You can't. That's right. We put the bros in juxta bros. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. So, uh, juxta couple bros. Just, just, a couple just, just a couple bros. Just a couple bros sitting around talking, bro. And we got we got a spinoff of our wives coming, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's coming. So um, be ready for that. Um, so, guys, we love y'all. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll see you next month. Yeah. See you next month. Peace.